Andy Mogul. Hey Andy Moglers, welcome to Friday 101 for this week, a special sort of holiday themed edition called All I Want for Christmas is a way to reasonably stabilize my panning shots without spending a whole lot of money. That didn't fit in the title line for the episode, but uh, that, that's the full title. Yeah, I'm pretty creative like that. Now I've got a special guest today to show us a few things that you could do with your Christmas money this year, or ask your parents for for Christmas if you're a young up-and-coming filmmaker. Let's bring him in. His name is Chris Knight of Nightcast Films. Hi. You know, we might want to rotate the picture and kind of even us out a bit here. Want to stand on something? You want a tire or something that you could... Now Chris has been my cinematographer for a few videos that I've shot, oh, my better looking ones, and he directs a lot of movies of his own, and he's got some really good equipment that I wanted to take a look at and see if uh, they'd make some good presents for Christmas this year. So Chris, what did you bring us today? It's a shoulder rig from, uh, who's it from? Fancier Studio. I actually had an episode that I did earlier in the year talking about certain affordable things you could get online, and this was the one I brought up as the most affordable follow focus rig. Uh, how much did this cost? Uh, this was two something. Was it two? Two nineteen ninety nine. I should have wrote all this shit down. Yeah, <laughs> and that is marked down from six hundred dollars originally on Amazon. It's a great deal. As you can see, it comes with the shoulder rig, the follow focus, and mat box built in. Now uh, we're not just gonna tell you about it. We're gonna put it in action. Yeah, we can go outside. You know, get some really cool arts shots. Put some really cool music in it. No, I don't work for Vimeo, Chris. That was great, Chris. Now get that thing out of here. Now that's not all we have for today. Chris is also going and grabbing something else. Uh, Chris, hurry up! Now what do, whoa, hey, whoa, all right, what do we got here? Uh, this is a slider. A slider. Don't know who it's from because I forgot. <laughs> well, that's the, through the magic of editing, I can put that up on screen right now. Uh, you really didn't even have to know. B&H, I actually went to New York to pick this up. Didn't realize it came in a long box and had to walk around New York like that. So people could look at you and say you were either carrying a slider or a rifle. Yeah, well, you know, standing on That's good. Good in New York. Now this can work in two different ways. Right now you can put it flat on the ground and it works very good as sort of a low to the ground tripod slash dolly. Or it can be attached to a tripod. Uh, either one in the middle or preferably two on the sides. So you got three eighth inch and quarter inch holes pretty much fit any tripod. Yes. So let's see this one in action.
And that's not all we have for our Christmas guide this year. Chris, what else do we have? We have... I forgot to bring it. You forgot to bring it? Yeah. That's the whole reason I wanted to do this episode. Yeah. Sorry. Next week, we will be going over a few other cheap things, but I feel a little bit like I've gypped people by only saying two things, so... Uh... I know. This right here, a wonderful fellow on YouTube named Dave Knopp from the channel Knoptop mentioned this as a very good alternative to a follow focus if you really have no money to spend. You can find these online for less than $5. It's a Trudeau jar opener. Just wrap it over this way. That's not how it goes. And as you can see, back and forth from the camera to the scary face, it's a very good alternative as a follow focus. And it can also be used as a Oh, I am bleeping that entire thing you just said. <laughs> all right, so that's all really for today. Hopefully one of the three items we showed today is uh, in your budget, at the very least. I'm gonna go shoot some stuff. Vimeo, guys. At the very least, everyone should have this as a stocking stuffer. I mean, it's less than five dollars. Hey, we'll be back next week with a few more items and the thing he was supposed to bring. Consider that a good cliffhanger for next week. We'll see you then. So Chris, what did you bring us today? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Excitement, Chris Knight. All right, what do we have first? Uh, it's <laughs> sorry, man. What the f do? No, no, that's fine. Keep going with it. I should have wrote all this shit out. Yeah. <laughs> you want wait? You want to stop? No, no, no. Keep it going. Keep it going. This is all good. Shit. All right. You don't like Vimeo, do you? I do. I just like making goofing on them. <laughs>